The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad, and I'm here with our pal Don O'Brien with the Better Business Bureau. Welcome back. Hey, thanks for having me. Anytime. Again. I was gonna say, I I was gonna say it's like bittersweet seeing you. I'm not trying to be rude. I love I seeing you because uh-huh. you're a great guy. But every time I talk to you, it's like something new that low lives have created to screw the rest of us, you right? Call, yeah, you can just call me Donnie Downer. If you want. <laughs> okay, it's just just a big, great, great big old rain cloud. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. So. But you are here to talk about something else uh, that folks should be aware of. Um, And this is just, it's just one more thing that, you know, we have to be conscious of, especially today's day and age when everything is electronic and everybody's so trusting, but shouldn't be, you know, Mm -hmm. you're putting all kinds of personal information out everywhere you go when you're signing up for things. And then it gets in the wrong people's hands and then they can do whatever they want with it. Right? Correct. Okay. So today we're talking about something that's like just... And you wouldn't even think about, uh, you, you're a mother. Yes. How many children do you have? Two. Two ages. Yeah. I have a 12 year old and an eight year old. 12 year old and eight year old. They yeah. probably spend some time online playing yes. games, doing things. Yep. Yes. Um, you need to make sure you know what they're doing and right. uh, and, and what they're sharing with people because, right. uh, believe it or not, uh, they could have their identity stolen. That's uh, just so crazy. Yeah. It's uh, it is it is something that you know we, we you you think about mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, all you know you think about adults right. and identity theft, but. Uh, a uh, report uh, came out earlier this year that showed last year more than one million children had their identity stolen. Right. Remember, those the, 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 those young kids get uh, Social Security numbers right after they I was going to say, yeah, anybody with Social Security number mm-hmm. can potentially be a victim of this, right? Correct. And now they have, like, online games, um, you know, and I try to keep an eye on my kids, but even, like, games like Among Us and this, like, Roblox thing where they're talking to people. I mean, you can talk to people online that you don't yes. know. And who mm-hmm. knows who's lurking out? I mean, yes. there are creeps everywhere yes. you go. And sometimes they might overshare. They might just try to say, oh, hey, where do you live? Or, right. Yeah, you know, what's, uh, you know, they might try to ask those types of questions. Right. And, uh, eventually try to get, uh, well, what's your mom's name? What's your dad? You know, you never know what they're going to have sure. and, and what they... You know, if they know where you keep your documents, they it may say, "Oh, hey, go on, you go get mommy's checkbook and see what sure. her bank number." I mean, right. there's it all could kinds be of anything. stuff you have to. So but, is that you know. primarily, um, you know, how you know children are being kind of you know victimized? I mean, I hate that I hate that word, but I I know that it does apply here. So anybody can get on and find information like on me you can google me and find you know pretty much anything you want yep. as far as like what i'm up to or where yeah, I live, and what we were number. talking about kind of extreme cases sure, is what we were talking sure, about. sure most sure. of the most of the most of the uh, uh children identity theft come about the same way that uh, you know that, that the rest of us are, really you know they, their stuff is out there on the on the dark web somewhere and somebody's taken that um you know they uh, one of the tips uh, that, that we had what was tipped off to us uh, we've had about 500 um, identity theft reports through our BB scam tracker this really? year, uh, and only a couple of those have dealt with children. So um, a couple too many. A couple too many. It's just gross. So thing, right? there, there, there are things you can do to protect yourself. But the one thing that someone reported us was, well, my child all of a sudden got a credit card. Uh, you know how we get bombarded with credit card offers for yeah. the mail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it was to their seven-year-old daughter. Oh, yeah. And it's just kind of like, well, wait a minute. Something's what wrong. is she? Yeah. So that was a tip off that, you know, her identity may have been stolen. Right. So, um, you know, the easiest way to protect your kids, obviously, uh, I have two children of my own. They're a little bit older. Uh, and uh, we and we will freeze their credit. You can easily do oh, a credit. Okay. Yes, you can do a credit freeze. I didn't know that. Yes. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, to do is very easy to freeze and unfreeze credit. We've got all this information on how to do that at bbb.org. You okay. can find out how to do that. And um, it's just simple. I mean, I don't think um, your, 10, your 12 and 8-year-olds, mm-hmm. I don't think they're going to be in the market to buy a car or a house right. or a cell phone anytime soon. Right. So just or things to a, look out for, right? Yeah. They're, can, yeah. yeah they're not going to have a hard credit report run right. on them anytime soon. Right. So you can freeze that. So that way, at least they can't open up accounts in their names or try to, uh, sure. you know, credit cards, uh, you know, whatever it might be, uh, you know, any kind of loans or anything like that. So now can you, I didn't mean to cut you off, but this no, just fine. hit, this just like struck hold with me. So I have like a credit karma account where you can get on and track, mm-hmm. you know, and it's free or a dollar a year or something. I don't, yeah. I don't remember. Do you but kill your children's info can, on that. I was going to say, can you? you I, I think you can, you or can? you might have to pay a little bit more to do that. But yeah, the, but if you have some type of monitoring it? service, you bet. Yeah. Um, and, you know, this is something that, you know, we're talking about specifically children's identity theft, because that's something that doesn't come to top of mind for people. Right. But really, this is a good time to remind people to... Uh, 
uh, really kind of keep an eye on their on their credit reports. Yeah. Uh, it used to be before the print before the pandemic, you could only get your credit report run three times per year. Yeah. Uh, through the three major credit reporting agencies. Through the pandemic, uh, because of all of the uh, craziness that's going on in the uh, identity theft world, they're allowing people to look at it once a week. Right. Uh, through I think it's October of twenty three now they've extended that out. Okay. To. So you can go on to uh, Experian. Um, what are the other the Experian? Um, Oh, the other two. Ex- Trans something. Trans- yeah, it, it's something it's, like that. Yes. I'm and s- no. Trans Union is another Tra- one. Yep. I'm sorry. I, no, I, you're fine. You'd think I use this all no, the time. No, you're good. You're good. But, uh, you know, you can go on those three uh, th- those three sites. You can mm-hmm. run your credit report. Now, the one thing I will say, and, and, and I talk to senior citizens about this a lot, and they know they're supposed to be very guarded of their social security number, sure. which is good. Uh-huh. And um, you do have to give your social security number if you run one of to these sign reports. Up. Yeah. Because, because that's how they look it up. That's right. how they're going to look up Ashley Conrad right. through your social security number. Sure. So uh, what I tell seniors who are very worried of doing that, I said, okay, the difference between this and just giving your number out to some random person that calls you or, or texts or you emails, or whatever, so yeah. you are making the contact. These are these are trusted sites that you're going to, sure. to put that information sure. in. So, um, yeah, it, it is really, it's, you know, identity theft is something that once you get caught in it, it's, it's really a pain. Uh, there were 42 million reports of uh, Americans who had their identity stolen last year. And when you think there's about 360 million Americans or yeah, so, yeah. that's, uh, what, that's more than 10% of yeah, all Americans who had their yeah. identities affected last year? And do you know if it's, like, people within the United States, or is it people just, I mean, like, somebody over, let's say, in India, they could have my identity, right? Or I don't know how that works. Is Certainly. It- you know, there's law enforcement's trying to do what it can to get its arms around this problem, mm-hmm. but a lot of the bad actors are overseas, okay. and we are... Our, we just don't have jurisdiction over them. Right. So, um, you know, again, the best thing you can do is, is, is do those credit freezes. Uh, you can, again, try to keep your, um, you know, try to keep your arms around your credit situation. Yeah. Monitor, Monitor that report every now and mm-hmm. then uh, just to make sure everything's okay. Some, I was doing a, a speech about this uh, not too long ago, and somebody says, what if I forget to unfreeze my credit when I go to buy a car or something? Sure. You can easily you can call it up, and it's probably take like an hour, and, you know, right. you're at the car place all day anyway when you're buying right, a car yeah. so it's just kind of another it's just got a little bit more time on to that sorry. So, yeah. yeah so um you know monitor your child's credit freeze that child's credit is, is another one uh and really try to keep your child's personal information safe yeah uh you know maybe you, tell them don't tell anybody yeah. i mean you know it, it, it's even a good time to have the conversation of even if you're playing like online games mm-hmm. no one should be asking you for any personal information Correct. and if they do mm-hmm. you should probably come and tell me and we can discuss yes. next steps but yes. just to they have the even, conversations they don't even know who you are yeah they may, maybe you have some made-up name or something right but they right. don't even know your real name where you live certainly not your address those types sure. of things so sure. you know that's a little different conversation that we're having it here is, but, it but, is. The, uh, but it all plays again, in for for parents, it's it's also uh, you know you don't know who's out there. Yeah, for um, sure. Preying on them. Yeah. One thing I just had a real quick question. So I got a text message yesterday, and maybe I'm not alone, but I wanted to run it by you since yes. you're here. Um, it was like, thanks for signing up for Blues Mania something or another. It's a text message. Now, I don't know if it's like phishing. I don't know if somebody has signed okay, up for something so in my it, name. It, it, that That's very possible. Okay. Um, it's possible that somebody signed up for something in your name, and if, if it had a link in it, they're probably Did. wanting you to try. Yeah, don't don't click, click that link. I didn't click on it. Yeah. Just yeah, just just swipe swipe left and okay. delete it, and right. don't don't worry about it. But so, so I have been monitoring my credit, and I will say, like with Credit Karma, I don't think there's a limit to how many times I can look at it because mm-hmm. uh, I'm a little paranoid about this kind yeah. of stuff. And then also credit cards. Um, if you do have a credit card, like a City or you know a Chase or something, which a lot of people have, like Amazon cards or something, mm-hmm. um, I believe there is a way you can monitor that they have it on there where you can check your credit. So Certainly. it's kind of yeah, included with your, yeah. yeah. Plenty of those uh, companies. Like sure. I, I go through my, my tax repair yeah. has that, has that okay. option. So I go through my tax repair and they, I get a, I get a report from once a month. There you go. That they, that they look at not only mine, but my wife's and my kids. I've, yeah. got, I've got everybody on there. Well, I learned something new today and that is I can freeze my kids credit, which yes. is, that is good to know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cause like you said, nobody, they don't need it right now. And no, it's better to need it. The, the 12 yeah. year old won't need it for 10 years. And yeah. The, Eight year old won't need it for fourteen or fifteen exactly. years. Exactly. So I'll probably be taking those steps. Well, I appreciate the information, and yeah. as always, it's it's awesome to see you, even if the information. Even though isn't, I'm Donnie Downer, yeah. and I have nothing but bad news hey, for you. Hey, not actually. always bad news. You come with the tips, and that kind of counterbalances it. Awesome. So we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Coming up next, we'll have a snippet of what's to come on Club Muddy. Stay tuned. Quincy Warehouse Bargains is your Quincy home improvement store. It's the only store of its kind in the Quincy area. 
We offer flooring, mattresses, area rugs, dining sets, couches, appliances, and much more. And have more products to come so we can better serve the Quincy and Tri-State community. Our staff is ready to help you find what you need to make your house a home. Quincy Warehouse Bargains, 4100 North 24th Street, Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. There's a reason Harvey's Furniture has been around for over 75 years. Exceptional quality furniture, affordable prices, superior customer service. The only way to stay in business for over 75 years is to do things right. Harvey's Furniture, our home, your home. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Downtowns in general have all, they've all got to figure something out yeah. because right now, the crime numbers are just so high. And we've had such weird stuff going on here in Quincy this week with all the gunfire and yes. shootings and stuff. It's just like, what, 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 what's in the water or what's in the air right now? Well, they're kids. You know, you know that, remember that show called like Scared Straight or whatever it was where mm -hmm. they would have these kids go to jail and like, yeah, I think they need to bring that back. Like these two kids that got, were they like 16 or something? You just want to throw them in the pokey. You just want to be like, listen, you little <laughs> shithead. You know, like. Life's too short to spend it like this. How could you hate somebody this much at, at your age that you want to kill them? Yeah, no, it's it's bad. Right now, well, there's just all kinds of all you have weird to do, stuff going on. All you have to do is wait till the midterms, and then everybody who gets elected will fix all of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. That's how you got to do it. Mm -hmm. it's real, sure. It's real easy. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, that's not going to happen. You know, the ironic thing, talking yeah, about the midterms, I've seen... You know, I don't I don't know. I mean, I don't watch a lot of local TV here, but you know, when I do like it's usually football games or whatever. I don't I, I'm not a ton of political ads, but when I got back to the room last night I was writing my Q U story and I popped on um one of the well, whichever station had the I guess it had been Fox had the had the uh, World Series on then the local news well, Chicago came on and oh my god political ads F1 out the wazoo yeah. just yeah. boom 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 it's like dang I, I haven't missed that at all yeah, right? yeah. So. It's so wild and they all seem to you know find that one thing that kind of like they know people are going to get freaked out by and they're like you should be scared of this and George like Smith is a jaywalker yeah. <laughs> it's like Okay. Rest. Like, let's create something that actually means something to the Melanie Jones world. drank a beer when <laughs> she was 18. God, stop. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just so bad. Yeah, it's Although, it, I haven't seen any of those political ads per se, but I think it's safe to say that. And so I'm, I'm not a very good, I'm not, a, not that good of a politician. Maybe that's why I'd make a good politician. But I do think, though, on Tuesday. You're a politician. But, yeah. You're a precinct committeeman. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And anybody who's in that precinct of 16, <laughs> let me know what you want to do. This is by the people, for the people. Uh, l let me know. I'll vote the way you want it to go. In your loan term? Yeah, in my loan term, yeah. yeah but uh, one thing, though, is is about the midterms, though, I just want to kind of get get this off my chest, mm -hmm. is that I really do believe that the party that messes with the kids the most, yeah, that really jacks around with the kids, yeah. That's the party you probably blew down. I'm not even like for any other parties. Yeah. I'm just saying, but the party that jacked with the kids really messed them, like really everything from the drag queens in the schools to like the forcible like face yeah. coverings to yeah. the, 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 the vaccine mandates to, because for the health of the children, that party that did that, yeah, probably not they were wrong yeah. to do that. And there's been no apologies and they'll do it again. Yeah. And you got like people like, in Michigan, that Gretchen Whitmer, mm -hmm. I mean, hot, good looking woman, but also like she's gonna jam more needles down kids' throats. Yeah. And that's not hyperbole, because yeah. we don't need hyperbole anymore, because right. there's so it's, much of it. 
It's like she says she's going to do it, and yeah. she'll do it again. Yeah. And that's just, we don't get to vote in that election, right? But no. I'm just saying, like, I, that's a problem for but me. But mind your P's and Q's. That's a problem. Yeah, get, do some research. Like, vote based on your convictions and not on what, you know, the media is telling you to be scared of. I mean, all this transgender stuff, and I get it that it's important to some people. I get that. But is it is it something that is here when there are other things happening? And do we really need to be fighting about that when there are so many other more... I guess important things. I mean, I know equality is one thing, but we're not talking about equality right now. We're talking about um, in the search to be treated equally, a lot of smaller groups have been, or maybe it's not even them, but people supporting them or trying to support or in the name of support have been making them stand out. So then it's not even equality anymore. It's like, hey, sh you know, let, let's focus on what we need. And I feel like it's just all one big distraction. That's just Do me. But then, but then on the flip side, what you said, just real quick, the face coverings. I saw this thing for Halloween, and my husband and I were talking about it. It was like, no masks and no masks for Halloween. They're they're distracting. It's always a good time with Frankie and Bobby. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Muddy River News, our home, our news.